Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. On your screen, uh, you will see two colors. Uh, one is a Lucas Cadmium Red. And another one is Artist Loft, a deep magenta. Now, uh, this is a ghost print from my previous video and I do want to salvage this um, using a contrasting color so I'm going to create two zones of color one with the magenta and one with the cadmium red so I'm going to start with the cadmium red I'm going to uh, Kind of create an off-center area here. And then the rest will be magenta. Checking if uh, this is squeaky. I think it's pretty quiet now. And these are both very brilliant colors which I thought would make a good first layer I guess the baby oil does a very good job in keeping these brayers quiet. Okay. Again, I'm going to refrain from doing the scribbles. Um, because in this case, I want to create a solid first pull, um, first layer of color. So I'm taking my fresh sheet of Somerset. And since I'm trying to pick up a ghost print, I, I'm going to leave this on for about 15 to 20 minutes. Hopefully the paper will absorb all the moisture from the paint that's underneath. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and I added some extra pressure 
and uh, let's see what we got hopefully it picked up the uh, leftover oh I think so I guess most of it I think that's pretty cool Pretty cool for a first pull. Uh, I did want to create this zone here of cadmium red against the two magenta areas and I'm glad I was able to pick up these uh, ghost prints, the uh, leftovers. So I'm going to air dry this and proceed with a second layer. So um, back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Uh, as you can see here, I deliberately did not clean the stencils because I was having a hard time finding them uh, because when they're clear uh, I can't differentiate between this and the plate so I'm, I'm giving this a try maybe it will make it easier um, and parts of the stencil since they're acetate didn't absorb the uh, paint so some of the paint is still wet so that might create a, an interesting effect so I'm gonna go ahead and use this light blue and this it's almost gone so I'm gonna combine the light blue with this aqua green and see what I get now the advantage of the acetate is it lays really flat and I know that it's not going to fall apart on me Now this is a uh, heavier than usual coat of paint because the light blue is a little more watery. Um, let me get my stick here and try to introduce some, some lines.
I'm not going to I'm not going to forget this last one here. There we go. Okay. Here's the first pool with red and magenta. Okay, since this is the second layer, I'm not going to uh, leave it too long on the uh, plate. Let me just make some room here. So let's see what we got. It's a nice combination, I think. It's a lot of leftovers on the plate. I think that's pretty cool combination. Um, I, I can't lay it on the plate because there's a lot of leftover. So I'm going to air dry this and use it for a different print.
Okay, I'm back from a short break. I uh, had a chance to go through my box of uh, scraps. Uh, I have here some leftover stencils. Uh, most of them are very thin. They're like little slivers. And I thought I would lay them out. I think this looks good here. Okay, I think that takes care of that. I'm going to air dry this and then recap and show you a close up. Okay, back from a short break and this has been air drying with the desk fan. Uh, I think the desk fan did a nice job. And it always looks better when the glue is, is completely dry because the, uh, the sheen of the water disappears. But here's a close up.
And in this piece, I purposely used smaller, thinner pieces. It kind of has a circus-like atmosphere. These are like happy colors, cheerful, bright colors. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Uh, please give it a like, share with your friends, and uh, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time.